We are alive. Did you move the clock? I moved the clock. All right. I, well, I think Coach Corinne moved the clock. Yeah, she moved the clock. Perfect. Coach Corinne moved the clock. Yeah, back here. Back here. So we're live. You're good. So as you're watching this on video, tuning into the Wellness and Weight Loss for Women podcast and video show episode number eleven. We are getting our application here set up and our, our, our wired mics to start the audio version. And you're watching, you have the convenience of watching us in the studio here. And you might hear somebody in the background. That's Coach Corinne, Master Instructor Corinne in the back doing some stealth work back there. As we are in the middle of the day here between morning sessions and personal training and afternoon sessions and personal training, nobody's working out right now. So we have time to, to do this, you have time right? to chat. So I'm gonna hit our record button on the audio version, and uh, here we go. Welcome to the Weight Loss and Women, well, this is Weight Loss for Women podcast episode 11. I was fine before I turned this on, right? Yeah, and then I yeah. turned this on, and so anyway, that's the funny part about this. Uh, anything goes, unscripted, unedited, unrehearsed, uncut, and we are, in episode 11. Episode 11. Wellness and Weight Loss for Women. There we go. Podcast and video show. There we are. Coming to you from the sculpt -to fit studio in St. John's. We have two two lines going here. We've got the video version that's going on Facebook Live right now, which will later be posted to Facebook and then to YouTube and might even, even find its way to LinkedIn or clips of it to LinkedIn and, and Instagram. But either way, if you're listening or watching, we thank you for tuning in. We are going to kick things off in, in rapid fashion here. We're going to get right into our intro, our uh, housekeeping, mm -hmm. and then into all the meat and good stuff beyond that, right? Yeah. So what are we starting with? What, what, uh, what do we got going on here today? All right. Well, let's take a look. So housekeeping. Um, we've been telling people about St. John's Cares. Yes. Um, we're still running um, any hygiene, with feminine hygiene. Lightly used bras, undergarments, things for women in our local community. Our clients have been killing it. Yeah, I see that. It's we, piling up. Yeah, awesome. we had that first basket they gave us. We filled it up. We needed to get our own second basket. That one's filled up. She's coming in tomorrow with a huge box. Um, and we'll likely fill that up as well. So, nice. yeah, really, really Love awesome. the spirit of giving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, clients, our clients are awesome. Yes, very. Um, I think that may be it on the house community. We've got a lot of cool things that we just talked about. Yeah, what were, what were some of them? Conversational type stuff. Uh, are you talking about in the studio? In the studio, outside the studio. What, what were we talking about? There was something cool. Oh, uh, the athletic conditioning, sports performance conditioning. Yes. So, um, as you're watching on video, listening on audio, we've got some cool things in, in the cooker, in the background, behind the scenes. Some of them we can talk about sooner as opposed to earlier. But right now, we will talk about the possibility of specific sport, uh, teen-oriented athletic performance sports conditioning mm -hmm. training classes that we may start offering pretty soon. Soon. Yeah. So how did this come about? Well, we, we're in a massive community full of so many children, athletes, students, all sports, uh, every age. And we feel there's a lack of proper, let alone any, sports conditioning athletic performance programs uh, in this area. Yeah. Uh, anything that does exist, it seems like you have to drive at least half an hour. Yeah. For most people ability. around here, that's just too much. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, we know we have a, an approach and a methodology and the expertise to keep these athletes and kids safe mm -hmm. while they improve, both for the short term and the long haul. Yeah. And again, this goes for every sport because there's one common denominator in every sport. That's the human body. Mm -hmm. So we train for proficiency and functionality and performance in every aspect, not just for one sport specifically. Yep. So with that approach, we know we're fully equipped, even better than equipped, um, to over deliver on programs for teen athletes and youth. Yep. So letting the cat out of the bag here a little early, early, because we want number one, our clients to know that if they have kids that are in sports or no kids, neighbors, et cetera, students, if they're a teacher, mm -hmm. um, or coworkers, kids, 
yeah. that they'll get first dibs because they're going to know about it first um, to reach out, let us know you're interested, if you want more information, um, and then we're going to be rolling it out to all of our other marketing channels and then reaching out to everybody we know who coaches teams, mm -hmm. assists with teams, already on teams, yeah. and go from there. I can't wait. You know that's my, my specialty is youth conditioning. That's one of Nikki's specialties. It's part of my past history, even though the coaches will be doing most of it. Um, mm -hmm. We're very passionate about yeah. it, and we know we've got something that uh, – I mean, I've worked with athletes my whole life mm -hmm. just by the nature of the, being in the field and the people I've worked with. Yeah. And then the golfers and tennis players and, yeah. and the soccer, all the soccer teams over the years. Mm -hmm. um, and we know that we have something that is needed and we should be putting out there to, yeah. to help a lot of these, these kids just get better, be stronger, be more confident and perform better. Yeah. Not just in the sport, but also learn how to take care of themselves for life. Yep. Stand up straighter. Right. Everything, Stronger, be healthy, how to take care of yourself, yeah. all the principles of true health and wellness. Yeah. Um, it permeates every era, every area of life. So stay tuned Ruth, because we're going to be rolling that out gently, but very soon. Very soon. Yeah. I'm super excited. It's going to be fun. All right. Well, I don't know what else we can say because we've got a lot coming up. Let me see. Is there anything else we could let the cat out of the bag on? No, we gotta wait. We gotta play it safe and wait. Okay. I know. There's a few things. I know. I know. There's but two I always, that I mean. I always right. want to talk. What is there anything you think we can talk about? Come on. I think we need to wait. Yeah. I think we need to wait. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna wait on letting the cat out of the bag on these other items. So stay tuned for next week's episode because mm -hmm. we may let a little bit more out then. Hopefully, but yeah. But sports conditioning for kids is gonna be so needed. So yeah. needed here. Um, all right. So let me take a look at our outline here. Clients coming back. Yeah, so I've noticed several clients have come back to the studio mm -hmm. in the last couple weeks. Uh, number one, awesome move. Yes. Number two, it's it just triggered something in me that in in life, certain things take people off the track they want to be on, whether it's an illness or an injury or an extended travel schedule, and they kind of just lose their way, mm -hmm. right? And there's all these other reasons that I may not have mentioned. But uh, my point is that anytime you fall off, you need to remind yourself that you're going to need to get back at some point. And it's either simply because you're going to be smart enough before something happens mm -hmm. or something's going to happen, whether it's a doctor visit or a health scare that doesn't require you to go to the doctor or a family medical scare makes you think, oh man, I really need to get started again. Or if you just wake up one morning, you're like, man... Here I am again. Like I've let myself go. I'm even worse than last time before I started. And I feel like garbage. Yeah. I need to get started again. So the first point is to find ways to never let yourself go too long mm -hmm. where you have to make some kind of comeback. Mm -hmm. um, the other is we love that our ladies uh, are coming back here after realizing I've got to get started again. Mm -hmm. I'm going here. Right? That says a lot. And so, number one, it's great to see them all back. Number two, it's a lesson for everybody else to hear. Uh, one, you want to keep yourself from falling off track. Two, if you fall off track, don't wait too long to get back on it. Because if you do, you just prolong the agony and you make it worse. When you do eventually realize, as a smart, intelligent person, I really need to get going again. Otherwise, I'm sacrificing my health and I don't want to go that route. Yeah. So, good stuff. Yeah, we've had at least, I think, three clients came back in these last couple weeks and more, more in this past month. Yeah. Um, but what's the the linking factor is they each at one point had said, you know, I felt better when I was here, and I just it just dawned on me like I'm not feeling good, and I remembered when I was here how happy I was and how how <laughs> I was moving better. Um, it's pretty simple, yeah. but unless you're living through it, you don't know the contrast of that feeling. Yeah. But it's awesome that they're in tune enough with themselves to remember. Oh man, I felt so good when I was going there. Yeah. Right, and that again, it permeates all areas of all life. All areas, yeah, it's very cool. Um, let's see here. Let's talk a little bit about the Kaiser class. I think we mentioned it on the last podcast. We did mention it because we actually they were just here before right. the podcast, mm -hmm. so we had some time to one us reflect on the the class. Two, they submitted their uh, 
their reflection emails mm -hmm. to us, and I pulled one of them for us to share. Uh, so let's let me read that, and then yeah. we'll talk about it. Do you want to recap who they were? Go ahead, recap. Okay, so for if you're just listening or just watching now, and you may have missed last week's podcast, um, Kaiser University is we've had a partner with partnership, excuse me, with them for what about two years. Yeah. Um, and we get a couple of their intern externs with us, but Ryan, their professor, was teaching a group exercise class and knew absolutely that he wanted to get his students, which happened to be all male this semester, in to take a class with us. Um, so we put them through the class that our, uh, our ladies do in studio, and it was awesome. I think we have it filmed. <laughs> yeah, we have it filmed. It's a long video, but it's worthy of being watched, yeah. and that's why we caught the footage. Um, because we knew these relatively younger mm -hmm. men, right, um, would experience something that they probably couldn't have foreseen um, by going through what we have themed here as a, a women's program, but this all started with me, it started with a guy, so this, you know, and I, we personally trained some of the husbands in here as well, so it's not just for men, but we themed this place and, and this specific studio for women. So it was good to see these, these men come in from various yeah. hardcore backgrounds, uh, go through the gentle, slow, focused, controlled method that is very, very opposite of what the mainstream mass markets are doing out there. But then to see their reactions and then read their reflections mm -hmm. of what they thought of this contrast was really powerful. Yeah, and on that note, let me pass along. Yeah, so let's read one of them. We've got, we've got I think we had five, five, but for sake of brevity, uh, and this one, this one kind of sums all of them up. Uh, this one is from Calvin D. He was one of the participants, and he is a student in the, I think it's officially called the sports medicine and fitness technology major, mm -hmm. right? Something like that. My time at sculpt fit will be an experience I'll never forget. When watching the videos, now so context, we, we give everybody orientation videos as a primer yeah, before they, before come, before in they come into their first session, no matter who they are. Yeah. Before the first session, they get that orientation video, so that's what he's referring to. When watching the videos, I thought to myself, it was going to be a breeze, but boy, I couldn't have been more wrong. The slow, controlled movements in 30 minutes made me feel like I lifted weights for an hour! Exclamation point. The small group environment made me feel comfortable rather than the large crowded atmosphere in the typical health clubs. The cues by Coach Nikki, Maddie, and Joey were beneficial as they kept a watchful eye on me as they did with everyone else in the class. Although I was in a group training session, it felt more like an individualized personal training session. I highly recommend this form of training for anyone looking to begin and maintain a healthy lifestyle change. Calvin D. So what really jumped out at me, and I, I don't not expect these kinds of reactions, but when you hear it from somebody, it really reaffirms everything that we're doing and that we're all about. Mm -hmm. um, so that what, what jumped out is that he, he realized we're doing slow, controlled movements in a shorter amount of time instead of lots of wild, fast movements in a longer period of time, mm -hmm. a longer training session. Um, and quote, made me feel like I lifted weights for an hour, but he just did what we have mapped out here in the configuration, which is very different than the typical lifting weights for an hour yeah. that everybody pictures in their mind when yeah. you, you say that. Um, and so, and Calvin wasn't a pushover. I mean, he looked like he was athletic. Yeah. And he, he looked like he has been keeping himself relatively yeah. fit and working out. Of course, he's in the major program with these guys. Um, so hearing that contrast uh, in his experiences, and, and actually in the video he said at the end, he was just like, ah, oh, you know, I'll be open-minded, I'm going to go and try this. He wasn't expecting much right. at all. But going through it and then physically feeling it and mentally feeling it, mm -hmm. it totally changes your perspective. Yep. Uh, for some people in the field, it's a very big surprise because yeah. nobody's ever told you about this kind of approach. Mm -hmm. Nobody's ever taken you through this kind of training session. So you don't know what you don't know. Right. But then when you go through it, and 35 minutes later, you're like, man, I'm breaking a sweat. My muscles are all jumping. And mm -hmm. 
you know, I'm, I'm feeling a good burn, but I'm not, uh, you didn't kill me. Yeah. Um, it's a real eye opener it for, is. for I think these people. Calvin said he had also he coaches some classes, some fitness classes. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. So for him to like see that other side is awesome. Yeah. 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 And the, the other other guys who also submitted their reflections, there was some really good stuff in there, but we just we can't read them all. Yeah. But this one kind of touched on all the, the the good points. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. They did well. All right. Let me see. Tina P. Yeah, so Tina P, we'll save the last name, she sent you an email last week. Mm -hmm. uh, she's actually a member in our long distance video on demand training portal that has all kinds of videos you could do while traveling at home. If you have one of our Sculpt Fit Home Gym systems, there's a whole other library of those training videos, recipes, mindset material that we add to every month. She's been a member in there. Uh, she, she's known of me previously. She joined that when we opened it up. And she emailed you to cancel, yep. right? She was frustrated with, she had tendonitis that came from something else. And she was frustrated that she was being held up by this and she wanted to cancel because she felt like she was uh, wasting $9 a month. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I was like, cool, I totally get it. She probably has to rehab her tendonitis and then rejoin at a later time. Yeah. But she and I actually spoke by phone before she joined several okay. months ago. Uh, again, she's been in my world for a while. Been following and listening and, and uh, reading, mm -hmm. um, so I got on the phone with her because I wanted to know. It's it's rare that somebody ever cancels, yeah. so I want to know why. Because is there, if there's something we should fix, is yeah. there is there a disconnect somewhere? So we ended up talking, and uh, she's like, you know, "Really, I honestly don't even know why I'm canceling." Yeah. I said, "You can tell right. that her email." Yeah. So well. she's like, "I just I got this arm thing, and I'm like, I don't know." She's like, "I'm." I'm I really have no reason. I said, let's look at it this way. One part of your body is healing up from tendonitis. You're getting worked on surgery, et cetera. It's healing up your physical therapy next. You have this whole other body connected to that little one piece and you're letting this one thing make you stop the fitness program yeah. that you love. And then what? She's like, well, you're right. Like I'm, think I'm thinking, as I sent that email, I'm thinking, wait a minute. Why am I doing this? I, I'm gonna need this, I want this. Right. So she's like, honestly, while we're on the phone, I need to tell you, like, b before I found you, I was doing all the other stuff out there in the regular world. I was going to the big health club, I tried boot camps, I joined a gym, was doing everything that I thought I was supposed to be doing that everybody says you're supposed to do, and it's in the magazines, and, um, and she said, I just never got the results that I thought I'm supposed to be having. And she said, strangely enough, I find your stuff, no gym needed, no big weights needed, none of the things that everybody says you need, no hardcore push, 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 you're the opposite. Mm -hmm. So she said, I'm doing your stuff, and I'm like, I'm getting the best results ever in my life, and nobody talks about this, mm -hmm. like except you, because that's how I found you. Right. And she said, I got the best results in my life ever from your body weight training programs. The ones I found were specifically for women. So she said, ever since then, not only did I know you're the real deal, but there's something that's being missed by so many people. Like so many people are still out there doing all this other stuff, but there's only like a few of you and your team who teach this different kind of approach to fitness that is not only safer and feels better when you're doing it, but the results are even better. What's with that, mm -hmm. right? So we talked a little more and she says, okay, I'm not canceling because I realize I need this. I'm just kind of, I was being silly in my head. I was kind of down on myself. Right. I was, she said, you're right. I could do my lower body and that's not gonna bother, gonna bother my tendonitis. It's right. so like, I'm just kind of looking for ways out of this and this little voice in my head that you told me I should need to look out for. Um, she said, problem solved, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna work out like today before the end of the day, I'm gonna do one of the lower body sessions mm -hmm. and we're not gonna miss, miss a beat anymore. Awesome. She said, thank you. Yeah. So that was it. So from canceling and you know, being frustrated with herself to no, I'm gonna keep this, I need this. I just realized after talking this through, I need it. I'm being silly for, for thinking about canceling and like, this is the last thing I wanna cancel. Mm -hmm. So we hung up, that was good. Tina, if you're watching or listening, thank you so much uh, for your awesome feedback. Uh, it always helps reaffirm the mission we're on and that there's many, many millions of other people like you that still need to, need to find that better way. And uh, thank you for following through. Yeah. And 
getting right back on the horse. Awesome. Despite having a post-surgery rehab to go through with your elbow, mm -hmm. there's still the rest of you, including your mind and your spirit, not just your body, that need you to be doing this for yourself. Yeah. So that was an awesome uh, little thing to feature today. I'll awesome. so make a note of that and talk about yeah, it. Yeah, Tina, that's all. And she's back on it. Yeah, and so the point there is don't let things derail you. Yeah. Like, I was talking about this. I think I have Kendall on here. Did I, did I put Kendall on there? I don't think Kendall's on here. Okay. Then maybe we're going to do that next week. I uh, had a really awesome breakthrough with Kendall in regards to self-sabotage and this other voice that's inside all of us. Mm -hmm. None of us ever get rid of it, but it's there. So we're actually gonna talk about that on the next episode because it's really, really important. It's something everybody deals with, mm -hmm. and it's, a, it's something everybody struggles with because they're misunderstanding what's going on in their own mind. Yeah. Once you understand what's going on in your own head, then this becomes not only less of a problem, for some people it solves the problem totally. Mm -hmm. So we'll highlight Kendall's uh, private coaching episode with me on our last call and we'll talk about the dynamic and we'll talk about the breakthrough and how everybody can benefit from understanding this dynamic that goes inside of all of our heads mm -hmm. and the breakthrough it can it can create for anybody yeah I love it yeah definitely need it we'll put, so the point is that. don't let anything take you off track yes. you will try to find excuses mm -hmm. it's human nature know that is going to happen and be prepared to fight back against that little silly voice yep. and find your way to stick with it yeah it's that simple. Get it done. Get it done. All right. On to Joey's grocery bag. Already? What do we have this week? Uh, you got to make me sure I don't, I don't repeat anything from the previous week. I will let you know. All right. So, here we go. Uh, growing up in the late 70s and 80s, maybe even after that, we were big sugar cereal eaters at night. We used to snack at on night. it at night. Yeah. I mean, in the morning we had it, but we would like, it would, it would be a major snack at night. Mm -hmm. All the bad ones, Count Chocula, Cocoa Puffs, Cocoa Pebbles, uh, there was a strawberry thing, there was Lucky Charms, there was all these mm -hmm. high, super high, total carbohydrate and sugar bomb cereals. We didn't, you know, we didn't really know the full extent of yeah. the sugar problem. We saw, oh, there's no fat in these, yeah. right? And we thought, oh, great, no Cocoa fat. Cocoa Puffs were my right. kryptonite in college. Man, right yeah. right, so stop eating all those cereals, of course, as we learned about our health. Mm -hmm. Uh, diabetes, um, started valuing our health more and more, realized we just can't be eating that stuff. But the love for cereal never stopped. Right. So I still eat lots of different cereals. They're just way, way healthier choices. And those get factored into my daily carbohydrate counts if, if that's how I'm going to do it. So one of those, I actually shared one a few weeks ago, but today I'm gonna share another one. This is called Love Grown, Chocolate Power O's. Love Grown Chocolate Power O's. Um, inspired by love, powered by nutrition. This is a cereal made with beans. You ever see this? Huh. All right, so here you are. Where'd you buy it? Like, you've never seen it, but I've been eating it. Yeah. Uh, like actually, we got this at Publix. Okay. That's where I saw this one. And granted, they're kind of expensive, but you know my, sh my, my uh, savvy shopping technique is mm -hmm. Go look, see all the healthy foods that are on sale, or buy one, get one, and buy them. Yep. Buy two, three, four, six of them. Right. So this was on sale. I bought a bunch of them, because it was like half price, or buy one, get one. Made with beans, four grams of protein per serving, relatively lower in sugar. These typically bring more carbohydrates into the mix. Mm -hmm. Navy beans, lentils, garbanzo beans, brown rice flour. Uh, very different than just white sugar cart. Yeah carbohydrate loaded processed white flour. Mm -hmm. Very different. Uh, world of difference. So different that I will eat these as my evening carbohydrates and snack with some awesome healthy milk, whether it's coconut milk, almond milk, uh, soy milk, mm -hmm. organic of course. Um, and I'm living my past and enjoying it. And it's somewhat actually healthy mm -hmm. compared to that stuff that I will never put in my body again. So I share this because I know that there are still a lot of cereal lovers out there, especially if you're a Gen Xer yeah. or a possible early baby boomer. There are cereals that you probably remember eating a lot of, and we knew we had to give them up so you can revisit your love for cereal and actually enjoy these even more because they taste delicious. I'm sure your stomach doesn't hurt after. No, no. So that's one of them. Awesome. Uh, we'll share two more things here. <clears throat> Speaking of carbohydrates and sugars, 
Uh, years ago, I made the switch to organic coconut sugar. Uh, it's, it's, you don't see it in here because I used it all, but it's brown, uh, minimally processed, and just has an awesome, fantastic flavor, so much so that I could never eat white table sugar again. It's just too, ah, too processed, too white, too, too visually perfect. Um, once you start tasting this and using it, it opens up your taste buds to a whole new dimension of sweetness mm -hmm. that's really closer to nature as opposed yep. to the highly processed white sugars that most of this country grew up on. So this is my empty. I, have a, I usually have a full two pound bag on my counter underneath and I use it for my, my coffee, um, my midday coffee breaks, my coffee shake breaks mm -hmm. when I break my fast. Um, I'll use it for making my um, living strength nutrition bars when I make this at home. Okay. These go, this goes in there depending on what combination I'm making. Mm -hmm. So highly recommend if you've never tried coconut sugar, go buy it, go try it. You can get it at Walmart. Walmart okay. has it for a bargain. It's, an or it's organic and it's a bargain there, so no excuses. My parents, the first time I had them try it several years ago, they were like very much hooked on their old school yeah. white sugar. But they tried it, and they're like, oh, wow, this is really good. Where can we buy that at home? It's coconut sugar. I didn't, who knew? Right? So old school Italians with yeah. their espresso and coffee, this is what they use now. Awesome. They're hooked. Awesome. And that's saying something. Yeah, that is saying right? a lot. So there you go. There's okay. that. And organic Thompson seedless raisins from Trader Joe's. Yeah. Another healthy dried fruit. Where do these go? When do I use them? Sometimes I'll have them uh, for my evening snack after dinner with some chocolate chips, the chocolate chunks from Trader Joe's that I spoke about a few weeks ago, some coconut uh, shavings or coconut flakes mixed with the raisins. Uh, my mouth is watering right now, so good. Uh, but I buy organic, especially raisins, uh, because I don't like the idea of raisins having all those concentrated pesticides and herbicides and fungicides being part of the raisin. Right, concentrate it. Definitely go organic on these, just about any food, but organic for that reason. Also, when I make a salad, if I'm short on a fruit or a tomato to add to the salad or grape tomatoes, I will take a tablespoon of raisins, and in the salad they go. Mm -hmm. Adds a whole new dimension yep. of sweetness and you know, little chewy things in there, and some good fiber and the, nu the good nutrients. There's a lot of good nutrition that comes from raisins. So. There we have, those are our uh, terrific three for the day. Joey's Grocery Bag. Stay tuned for more next week because I got a lot piling up at home. You'll be surprised at how much I eat. Even though I fast half the day, somehow I still get my foods and nutrition in. So. Uh, speaking of nutrition and the nutrition bars. Yeah. Remember how last week you told me you were going to bring some for me? Yeah, I just I haven't gotten to it. I have all the ingredients ready to go. I just need to figure out what flavor am I going to make this time, and then I just okay. have to do it. All right. So this is one of the reasons why I want to make them and bring them to market, because I know most people won't do it themselves. Mm -hmm. Even I, who know how to do it, just find it a struggle to yeah. do it. But I promise, they're coming soon. All right. Yeah. So get over that barrier. Yeah. Get it done. I will. I'll get it done. Um, all right, so we've got one Q&A question here from Jill. Jill asks, in my past efforts to lose weight and stay slim, I was all about avoiding fat. Fat was the enemy back then. Now I'm hearing that fats are healthy for us and we need a decent amount of them in our daily nutrition plans. I'm confused about this. Can you explain what I should know? Hmm, awesome question, Jill. Sounds like she might be a Gen Xer. Sounds like it. Yeah. All right, so before we answer that, Let's uh, make sure before people leave early, if they're going to leave early, what do they do if they want to connect with you here first, and then we'll give the long distance people where they can connect with us and get all of our freebies and stuff. Yeah. So if you are local, that is St. John's, Mandarin, Middleburg, Orange Park, Nocatee, uh, really anywhere in the Jacksonville, St. John's area, you can get to us through sculptafit.com. That's our website, S-C-U-L-P-T-A-F-I-T.com. Um, you can connect with us through Facebook, Sculpt Fit. You'll be watching it. If you're watching it here, just click over to our main page, um, or you should be actually already on our page. Um, you can reach us there. You can find all the coaches, Joey, myself. Uh, you can call us if it is normal hours. If not, just leave me a really detailed message. Um, I do go to bed at a reasonable time, but I do get up super early. So number to call for that is going to be 904 
891-3680. Uh, text works as well. Um, and yeah, that should that should get it done locally. Oh, remind me about the couple of bucks. Couple of bucks. All right. So long distance people, uh, if you're an hour away from here and you can't get to the studio, we understand. Uh, if you're on the other side of the world, of course, you can't get here now. Maybe in the springtime when we do our retreat, mm -hmm. keep that in mind. We're possibly doing a big retreat here. Um, if you're anywhere outside of the vicinity of getting to the studio, we've got several long distance options. One, we've got all the freebies at fitnesstraining.live. That's fitnesstraining.live. Start with all of our freebies. We've got a bunch of awesome videos, and then we're adding some new ones in there in a few weeks again, so you'll get even more freebies than you'll see listed on the page. Share that with other people you know too, so we get this out to everybody. You can, from there, you'll be able to sign up if you want full access to the whole video on demand portal and all the other almost, as of today, almost like 100 video sessions in there. Workouts, recipes, mindset videos, uh, travel videos, and other good stuff that I'm forgetting. You could sign up, there'll be a special discount link because you're watching or listening to the podcast. There'll be a special discount link after you get all the freebies, of course. Um, if you're long distance and you want private long distance coaching, you can reach out to us through fitnesstraining.live after you sign up. You can email us or you can go to thejoeyatlas.com. There's a contact link up above or in the menu if you're on your smartphone, you'll see the hamburger uh, looking icon. You can click that and you'll see the contact link. You can submit your info through there. You can order one of our home gym systems. Uh, we don't have the one behind us today because we're short on time. We've done so much already before this podcast and video. We didn't have time to pull the home gym system out and put it behind us. But if you look in the studio, if you're on the video, you can see a bunch of the units lined up. Each of them has their own specific attachment. The home gym system, of course, comes with all the attachments. Any of our founders who bought one already when we launched them last year fully knows that it comes with the whole kit and caboodle. So you, you and your family never need anything else. Uh, so that's another option. You could buy the home gym system. It's commercial grade. It's it's just it's built exactly like the ones we have in here and the version 5.0 that you can't see on cam right now is the latest one. Uh, and you could follow our personal training videos at home as if we're there training you on the home gym system itself. So you and the whole family will have a whole video of uh, a video library to choose from. Again, we add to it every month. And uh, then we have custom solutions. If you have a corporate, uh, if you have a business, small, medium size, or larger, we can customize a corporate wellness solution and program. You can even fly us out to do custom layouts of any space you might have or do uh, coaching talks and, and launch programs for a corporate wellness program that you might be starting. Uh, so any, really the possibilities are endless. We could do just about anything you could think of and if you can't think of anything, we can think of ways to help you. Yeah. Um, and we've got lots of different ways to do it, whether you're here in town or far, far away plane ride uh, is all it takes for us to get there and we've got every possible way to help you so any questions either post below where you're watching this video if you're listening on the podcast you should see a, a link a contact link or find a link to reach out to us several different ways come connect with us find us on social media and uh, now we get to Jill's question about the sugar and fat and, and um, the conundrum she was in so early on, Jill was of the mindset that most people were of that you need to avoid fat if you don't want to be fat, mm -hmm. right? So less fat in your diet means you will lose fat, right. lose weight. Yeah. And uh, for some people it worked, for most people it, it did not work. Um, fast forward to now, in the last bunch of years we've been realizing more and more, and this is still this is still relatively new, that people are still learning. It's been proven in the labs and yep. uh, nutrition fields and, and medical fields that we need healthy fats. We need healthy fats in our diets so that our bodies can function the way they're supposed to. Hormone regulation, disease prevention, structural uh, regeneration, cellular regeneration. We need, again, the key word is healthy fats, not bad chemically processed fats. 
fast food fats, frying fats that are typical in the American average diet, healthy fats. So what does that mean? Instead of what the French fries are cooked in at your local dive restaurant, we're talking about fat derived from olives, mm -hmm. olive oil fat. Uh, avocados are high in fat, but it's healthy fat. Yeah. Uh, organic coconut oil, healthy fat. Uh, various nuts and seeds, healthy fats. Mm -hmm. High in fat? Yes, they're high in fat, but they are healthy fats. Mm -hmm. uh, chia seeds, flax seeds, uh, walnut oil. Yeah. There's just so many, I'm just naming a few. But these are all, like the fat from the yellow of an egg is supremely healthy. Yep. Everybody thought you're supposed to throw out the egg yolks, mm -hmm. right, to be lean. Mm -hmm. No, we need that, it's there for a reason. Mm -hmm. That's where all the vitamins and minerals are in addition to the healthy fats. Yep. So, to clear up Jill's confusion, we need way less of those carbohydrates than we were led to believe in years past. Right. We need to make sure that we have enough calories coming into our bodies from healthy fats because of our need for them. That's why they exist in abundance on this earth because the human body, the brain, everything that allows us to function and live and, and grow properly and, and uh, be at our best, they exist for that. So we need to be consuming them in order for them to do their magic. Mm -hmm. So we need to include them as part of our diet in properly calibrated amounts. We can't yeah. overdo it because right. then the caloric equation falls out of favor with us. Yeah. Uh, but we need to have them included in, in the diet because of all those important needs. Yeah. So did that help answer Jill's question in a simple way? I think it should. Yeah, that old school way is not, is not right. No, but again, it's a great question because not only are there so many people still under that mindset this very second, mm -hmm. but even though we're talking about this healthy fat thing, now and it's been being talked about in five years there are still going to be people who never heard this message from yeah. us their doctor or yeah. nutritionist or whoever or the newspaper they it'll it'll have eluded them mm -hmm. either because by chance or because they just don't believe it yet mm -hmm. but eventually they're going to either hear about it and believe it immediately or have heard about it and then eventually realize okay i need to believe this yeah. i have to let go of that old pattern i was in and start eating fats right and what's cool is that a lot of people who started with carbs, minimal fat in their diet, and were suffering some weird from weird things, mm -hmm. they start bringing healthy fats back into their diet and replacing all the too high amounts of carbohydrates with better amounts and higher qualities, mm -hmm. and things start getting better. Their skin gets skin better. Their energy gets better. Mm -hmm. Their hormone regulation gets better. Their joints feel better. Their hair, their nails. Um, all things beauty related, the skin takes on a better complexion, their eyes look better, their, their energy looks better. And that's not an accident, that's by design. It proves that we need these fats to be coming into this body mm -hmm. to be assimilated and allowing them to do their jobs, yeah. allowing them to do their miracle. So my point is, we'll talk about it today, we'll have reminders, in future episodes, future videos, maybe even go into specific detail mm -hmm. about certain fats and the specific things they physiologically do inside of our bodies because somebody five years from now is gonna to need to hear this because they didn't learn it yet. Yep. Somebody 10 years from now, there's still, there will still be people 10 years from now who need to learn less processed carbohydrates, more healthy fats, in addition to your fruits, veggies, and salads mm -hmm. to make good things happen. Yeah. So. This is a, a way to perpetuate that message. Here we go. I like it. Anything else? I think that may be it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Good. We're good. Good job. Okay. Well done. Okay, so as we wrap up here, if you're watching, if you're listening, think of one person who needs to either see this video or hear the audio podcast. Hit the share button. There is a share icon. It looks like a little box with an arrow pointing out of it. A lot of people don't know. That means share. Yeah. Press it. See what happens. You're, it's going to open up a whole bunch of share options to you. You can text this stuff to somebody. Mm -hmm. Email it. Mm -hmm. You can post it on their social media. But we do this to help people. So if you're tuning in right now, via audio or video, we're getting to help you. But we need you to expand the message. So think of at least one person. If you think of thousands and get it out to them via your, your corporate position, human resources, or you have a... Uh, an email list or what have you, get it out to them. If they take just one good lesson from today, 
we've done something good and we've yeah. helped somebody else in this world. So share it. Let us know if you're watching or listening. Hit the, uh, the, the contact buttons. Let us know what you like about this, what else you want to hear, what question, what big question you might have in regards to health, fitness, nutrition, mindset. Because mm -hmm. mindset is huge. It's often the biggest factor in yeah. success with all of this kind of stuff yeah. is the mindset. So as always, we thank you for tuning in. You know where to reach us now. You know where to get the freebies. You know almost everything we're able to help you with. Uh, both free and all of our different paid levels anywhere in the world. Reach out, let us know what you're up to. We want to hear from you. We want to know how we've helped you. And if you're local, if you're one of our local peeps, please share this with somebody local. Let them know that we're your people. This is your place and that we want to help them too. Show them what we're up to. Let them meet us, meet us, see us face to face, eye to eye, hear our voices so that they feel comfortable coming to check us out and reaching out to Nikki and taking those first steps. So that's it for today. I'm going to shut down episode 11 here if I can get the login. And uh, that's that. If you're still watching on video, you're seeing us take off our mics. And I'm going to shut down our camp today. Is that cool? Right, Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to share. Thanks. We appreciate you. We love you. We'll be back again next time.